My name is Chris from Reading Town, and thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. Now, today's topic is about an event that happened about four years ago. It was a very terrible and scary event that happened in Japan, in Japan, and it was a tsunami, right? A lot of people died, and a lot of homes were destroyed. Well, but recently, we found another reminder of that event in the form of a boat. So, tsunami waves, well, tsunami washes Japanese boat to California. So, in the tsunami four years ago, this boat disappeared, and now we found it again back in California. So, not long ago, a beaten up or very dirty little boat floated ashore in California. The boat did not have any people or har cargo. It had no people, it had no things, it was kind of empty and was covered with barnacles. Barnacles are the sea creatures that stick to whales and stick to rocks and they sort of you know, follow whatever they stick to. And Japanese writing. As it turns out, the earthquake that devastated Japan in 2011 pushed the boat from the city of, I watch, Rizuken Taka and the ocean carried it to Crescent, California. So we carried it all the way across the Pacific Ocean into California. There, local officials traced the boat's origins to Takata High School. Traced means they followed the hints and they found where it is originally from. They did some detective work and they figured out the mystery, where is this from? The Japanese school was notified, they called them to let them know, and now plans are made, being made to return the boat back to its home. They're trying to bring it back to Takata High School. The boat, called the Panga, was part of Takata High School's marine science program. It was used to train oyster fishermen. So oysters are the food that we eat in the shell, and it was used to sort of train or help the fishermen practice catching these oysters for practice. The 9.0 magnitude earthquake and tsunami completely destroyed or broke the school uh, and parts of Ritsuke Tanaka. The discovery of the intact boat in California has been a symbol of hope. They, you know, they look to this boat and even though it's very dirty and it looks a little scary, they look to it to see that it survived, it's still strong and it's still very brave as well as a science lesson for students. Other debris or order, other sort of loose garbage from Japan has been verified or checked, found, near the U.S. coastal states, near the water of Alaska, Hawaii, Oregon, and Washington, as well as British Columbia and Canada. So all along the west coast of uh, America, we're finding loose debris or loose garbage from the tsunami. None of it, though, is as large or meaningful as this boat. None of it is as big, none of it is as important or special as this boat. Okay, we have three key review questions here. First one, what did the beaten up little boat look like? It did not have people or cargo, there was nobody on there, but was blank with barnacles and Japanese writing. So as you can see here, these sort of uh, sharp things that are on the boat, we call them barnacles. They are actually living things that stick to something and they sort of you know, travel together with whatever they're stuck to. And Japanese writing. We can see Japanese writing all over it. And we can see that it's sort of all over the place and we want to say covered. To cover means to be all around it and to sort of surround it and to uh, sort of almost hug it. Alright, B. Where did the boat come from? Local officials in California, people in California, blank the boat's origins to Takata High School in Japan. So the origin is where it originally or at first started, right? The very, very beginning. What is the origin? Where is the origin? And they were somehow able to follow the clues, follow the writing, where is the boat from, what kind of boat is it. And they were able to follow the clues and find where it's from. And to follow something is to 
trace. So to trace is they follow the clues and they find the origin or where the original or starting point was. C. What was the result of the natural disaster? The 9.0 magnitude earthquake and tsunami completely blank the school and parts of the city of Rizikuzi Takada. So it was completely broken, right? And another way to say completely broken or ruined or raised is destroyed. Okay, so let's keep moving. Uh, we have three key review terms here. A, the Japanese school was blank and now plans are being made to return the boat back to its home. So this is after they find the boat, right? So they find the boat, one, they find the boat. Two, they call the Japanese school and say, hey, we have your boat. Uh, they are letting them know, they are communicating with them, they are alerting them. And another way to say, to tell somebody is to notify. So they notify them maybe using email, hey, we have your boat, or maybe they call them B. It was used to blank oyster fishermen. So of course, this boat was part of the school, and at that school, they are teaching things such as science, and they were also teaching oyster fishermen how to do their job, how to catch oysters better, and let them practice on the boat. And another way to say get better or to practice something is to train somebody. So when you are training, it is before, let's say you have a big soccer uh, match. So before the soccer match, you are training, you're getting ready, you're exercising, you're warming up. And then after you train, you do the real game, right? See, none of it though is as large or blank as the boat. So there's a lot of debris or garbage that floated into California, maybe some bottles or plastic or glass. And they're all very small, right? Uh, they were not as large as this boat, and they're all, they were all very just real garbage. Like they didn't mean anything. They were not important. They weren't special. And another way to say special is meaningful. It has a lot of meaning. When it when something has a lot of meaning, that means it's very special. It's very unique. It's very sincere, genuine. Um, Alright, so to review, to notify is to let somebody know or to tell them something. Train is to practice and get ready for something. And meaningful means something that is special or very important to you. So if you give somebody a present, right, one person just gives them money, that's not very meaningful, right? But if one another friend gives them a car that they wrote themselves and they made them a present, that present that they made is meaningful, is special, and it's sort of from the heart. Alright? So next time you guys go to the beach, keep your eyes open because you never know what you can find. Thank you for joining us for Junior Times. My name is Chris from Meeting Town. I'll see you next time.